Hey everybody, this is my third take of this because I didn't like how the first two came out. But um, uh, this is a movie review, which I don't usually do too much of. But I'm going to start doing it after I see a movie. And sorry if I'm a little low or the the setup is different. Honestly, it's probably better than my older one because it's like, you know, a blank wall and such. Kind of like Nostalgia Critic-esque. But um, yeah. Uh, this is a review of 10 Chlorophyll Lane, which pretty much everyone's doing now because... Holy shit, my very first reaction when I saw this movie was... Because I was still shaking like a leaf 10 to 15 minutes after this movie because holy shit, guys. This is a very intense movie. One of the most tense movies I've seen in my life and one of the most tense movies I will probably see in my lifetime. Sheesh. First off, I'm going to make sure to not spoil anything in this movie because you need to see it. Although I don't know if it's really into color, the original color field. It might be, but it's nothing like color field. I'm going to tell you that much. It's nothing like color field. There's no giant monsters and explosions. Well, there's no giant monsters and explosions and stuff. So, anyway, uh, the movie is very enclosed. It has a very small set, very small budget, uh, or at least a small ish budget. Not like found footage, shitty kind of stuff budget. But, um, yeah, it is a smaller budget movie, so it is very enclosed, with only three main actors, which, um, I believe, uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, or Winslet, um, John Gallagher Jr., I believe, uh, and John Goodman. And the only one I really knew was John Goodman, and he is a good actor. I want to say he's one of my favorite actors, but he's a good actor, and, um, he did fantastic in this movie. He is very different than his normal performances. He's very, very different than his normal stuff. He's very off-putting and very strange. You don't know if you can trust the guy the entire movie. You don't know if he's true or not. And then um, uh, Gallagher, or John Goodman was Howard, his character. And then Emmett, played by Gallagher, um, not Gallagher as in pumpkin, but you know, not pumpkin, water note, fuck. Uh, John, or whatever, the other guy, plays Emmett, and he's a good kind of uh, comic relief kind of thing. Uh, played down quite a bit, but he's still a good character, very heartwarming. He's a good, he's given a bit of a backstory. And then there's uh, Mary, who plays Michelle, and she is fantastic. She is very smart, she is a problem solver, and she is a great uh, protagonist to follow and root for. And uh, the, like I said, the movie is very, very tense. It's very well directed, and it has a wonderful, wonderful script that gives to a lot of moments that really make you stay on the edge of your seat and have that heartbeat racing like ridiculously. It's it's really crazy. It's it's very fantastic. Uh, but if you go into the mindset thinking this movie is going to be like Cloverfield, then you're probably going to be disappointed. But if you go into the mindset of being like, I have no idea what this movie is going to be like. Let's see it. You're probably gonna love it because, like I said, it's fantastic. It is a very good movie. The acting was all really good. The the, the uh, scene, the, the the bunker looked really good. It looked very realistic, like some psycho guy or uh, conspiracy theorist would build this. So that was good. Um, there is a twist at the ends. And it was very unexpected, very jarring. But I honestly think it was pretty good. I think it was a pretty good twist. I'm not going to reveal what it was, but I liked it. I thought it was good. There were some hints to it. There were hints. So it's not like out of left field. It feels like it, but if you go back and think about it, you're like, no, actually, it is. It does make sense when you think about it. And um, it does... It's just... It's a very jarring movie. It's very different... I guess, and things I've normally seen. But I really did enjoy it. Um, it's been in my head, and I think you guys should see it, because it is one of the best movies of the year so far. So, my final rating for 10 Cloverfield is an 8.5 out of 10. A really good movie. I'm not going to give like little descriptions or specific descriptions for the numbering system, but I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also make sure to check out my supporters. All that great stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.